What's going on? Mitchell Renz here from Chat Sports, and I got a six pack of Yankees rumors ready to crack open for y'all. And the first one here is going to be around DJ LeMahieu because he's the newest member of the New York Yankees. So Cashman kind of hit me, and I think a lot of you, with a little bit of a curveball here. And the former batting champion signed a two year, $24 million a year deal to be a Bronx bomber. Jack Curry of Yes added that LeMahieu would play second base, third base, and first base in the Bronx, which is pretty interesting considering how already loaded this infield is for the Yankees. And he's going to be, I think, mainly the second baseman there. But I think when I go back and I look at LeMahieu's career, I mean, remember when he hit 348 for the Rockies in 2016? Like, that's incredible production for me. And sure, the Yankees may have too many infielders, and maybe somebody could get cut, and it could make things a little bit cloudy going down the road. But if I can get the 2016 year out of LeMahieu batting 348, hey, he's got some traits that some people have compared to him as Derek Jeter, a lesser version of Derek Jeter, the captain. But still, LeMahieu, this is a really, really good signing for the Yankees. And when you go back and look at 2018, sure, it wasn't 2016. But 276 average, 15 homers, 62 ribbies, and 90 runs scored. I think all those numbers are going to come up when you're in a much better lineup when LeMahe was probably the best hitter on the team, I would argue, last season, or one of the best. And now they're going to have to pitch to him because if he gets on base, you're going to be dealing with a whole bunch of other issues. We look at his career stats. He's, be he's a 298 average hitter. And... I'll say some of that maybe have to do with the, uh, the climate and the altitude in Colorado. But the 49 homers, 349 RBIs, and a 501 run scored for LeMahieu. This is a really good pickup for the Yankees. I like this one a lot. And just so you guys know, I actually put down some money on Bet DSI because I think the Yankees are going to win the World Series. Because when you start making moves like this, I think this is an interesting one that a lot of people don't realize how good of an actual move this is. So, great the signing. A, B, C, D, or F? I want to know from you, and if you want to know what my grade is, slide into my DMs at Mitchell Renz365. I got a little favor to ask. I want to get Chat Sports to 100,000 subscribers, and right now we're at 80,416. So what you got to do, youtube.com slash chat sports TV, or just click the nice little subscribe button below. Tweet at me, at MitchellRenz365. Tell me you subscribe, I'll throw you a retweet. Let's get to 100K. That means more shows for y'all. Next rumor coming up here on the board, Machado. Is he going to be going to the Chicago White Sox? And I understand you're probably sick and tired of me talking about Machado. Well, the good news is this may... this. Conversation may be over sooner rather than later, but as of right now, the Phillies are the favorites to sign Harper, according to BetDSI, and Machado has officially offer on the table from the White Sox. So what I'm hearing, it's eight years, $250 million. The White Sox want Machado, and they're doing the right things to get him. So they traded for Machado's brother-in-law, Yonder Alonso, and signed one of his good friends in John Jay. Now, Machado has started or has stated he doesn't care about those players. He wants to sign with a team that's going to offer him the most money. I guess my only question is for the New York Yankees, how are we not offering a five-tool player more than $250 million? And I understand he's 26. To me, though, that's literally like the prime of a player's career. And when you look at what he can do on the infield, when you can look at what he can do with a bat, you could argue he's a top five, top ten hitter in the MLB, who's, I think, entering his prime. And it was already reported that he was going to be looking at $300 million. If the offer right now from the White Sox is eight years, $250 million, I'm scratching both of my heads wondering why aren't the Yankees and some of these other teams offering him more money. When you go back and look at his 2018 year, it was a good one. I mean, he played in all 162 games. Yes, 162. He batted 297, 37 homers, 107 RBIs. And sure, he struggled a little bit in the postseason and when he came over to the Dodgers, he didn't have as good of a year as when he was with the Orioles, but I mean, he batted 313 with the, or 317 with the Orioles. When you look at him in a career stats, I mean, this dude has been in the MLB now seven years. He's been playing Major League Baseball since he was 19. What were you doing at 19? He's got 175 homers, 513 ribbies, and 522 runs scored. He is a very good player, and at eight years, 250 million, if that's the White Sox are offering him, Man, can we, uh, can we jump on board here? So where's Machado going to play? I know I said on the show earlier that, uh, or last week, that I thought he was going to be a Yankee. 
because when I hear that his wife wanted to be coming to New York, I would imagine she's got to have some pull, but I can also imagine Machado wanting to play with his brother-in-law in Yonder. So where's Manny Machado going to play in 2019? Maybe these rumors will be slowing down here in a little bit, but I'll be honest, I really hope not. If you want to bet on where you can... Manny Machado's going to play next year. There's one place to do it. It's at BetDSI. Go to chatsports.com slash bet and use that promo code LIVE120 for a 120% deposit bonus. You put down $50, you'll get $60 for free. You put down $100, you'll get $120 for free. Be a big baller like Manny Machado. Put down $500, get $600 for free. Shout out to BetDSI for going up chat sports with the best promo code on the internet. My next rumor here. It's a good one. It's around Sonny Gray. And again, we got these Sonny Gray trade rumors, and this is just part of it. So talks surrounding a potential trade involving the New York Yankees and Sonny Gray have ramped up. And according to reports, six teams have been interested in him or are interested in him. And it's no secret that Cashman's been trying to get rid of him, and he's stated multiple times that they want to trade him away because, well, he's just not a good fit with the Yankees. The original issue was CC Sabathia was going underneath are dealing with some heart issues, but now he's been cleared. So now, Sonny Gray, it's about to get gray for you. In 2018, he struggled. 11-9 record, 130 innings pitch, but it's at 4.90 ERA and 123 Ks. Like, he's got good stuff. I'm not saying he doesn't have good stuff, but I just don't know if he can handle New York. A lot of people can't, and I just think, you know, it's not always sunny in New York. But these are the teams that are interested in Sonny, and you got San Diego Padres, the Cincinnati Reds, the Milwaukee Brewers are a team that is reportedly interested in Sonny Gray, and then Seattle Mariners, the Oakland Athletics, where he originally started, and then the Atlanta Braves. I mean, if I had to put my money on all six of those teams, I'd probably say Sonny's going to go back to Oakland, where he thrived. So, Sonny, let me know what's going on. But the show isn't about me. It's about you. Where will Sonny Gray play in 20? 19. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on Facebook, literally anywhere, I want you to comment below. Where will Sonny Gray play in 2019? My next rumor here is around the flamethrower Aroldis Chapman. And is he going to opt out of his contract next year? So when Aroldis signed his five-year $86 million contract prior to 2017 season, he became the highest paid relief pitcher in the history of the Major League Baseball. He was also able to secure an opt-out after the 2019 season. So Chapman was absolutely just nasty last year. He racked up 32 saves while pitching to a 2.45 ERA. All right, so he struck out a ridiculous 16.3 batters per nine innings. Despite losing some of his velocity on his fastball, Chapman was able to fine-tune his slider, and it resulted in the second-best strikeout-to-walk ratio of his career. So if he decides to, you know, end up leaving at the age 32, Chapman will be leaving 34.4 million over two years on the table. When I look at David Robertson, Andrew Miller, and Zach Britton, they all received around 12 to 13 million in average annual this past offseason. So for me, I just don't really see why a roll this would opt out of his contract. I mean, that's leaving 17.2. Those other relievers are also very good, got 12 to 13. So for that reason, I think a role this is ultimately going to be a Yankee. He's going to stay in those pinstripes. I don't think he opts out of his contract at the end of the year. I think a role this is one of the better closers, but I want to know from you, who's the best closer in Major League Baseball right now? I want you to comment below. Tell me who's the best closer. And if you want to know what I think, I want you to slide into my DMs at MitchellRens365. I think I'm one of the better closers, at least at the bar scene. And that's thanks to Miz and the Main. Go to www.comfortable.af so you guys can see for yourself how unbelievably comfortable these shirts are. Sweat wicking technology, super stretchy. Wear them to work, wear them to the gym. You can wear them out too. Shout out to Miz and the Main for making me the best closer in Dallas. Next rumor here is coming around. It's around Bryce Harper. And is he and the Yankees a perfect match? Well, Kevin Davidoff of the New York Pro Post believes so. He says that Bryce Harper is still available and the Yankees, for some reason, don't seem all that interested. However, he says that, you know, I don't know if the Yankees realize this, but they have a really short porch. And last season, Bryce Harper pulled the ball 42.3% of the time, which, again, I understand. He also makes the point that even if the Yankees don't want to offer him the most money in terms of salary, he believes that the Yankees and Bryce Harper are a perfect match because Harper would make way more money just endorsements. I mean, he's 26 years old. He's probably the biggest name in baseball, maybe minus Mike Trout. 
but in terms of marketability and the Big Apple, that just rings dollars, and that's why he's saying it's the perfect match and that Harper should be a Yankee and why the Yankees just need to, hey, go out and get this kid. And 2018 was a little bit of a eh year for Harper. I think when you look at his past seasons, he did play in 159 games, 34 homers, 100 RBIs, and I think those numbers would go up if he played at Yankee Stadium, but 249 average, if he bats 249 for the Yankees, I bet he hits 40 home runs and has 120 ribbies. But he's a five-tool player, and he's been that way his entire career. He can do it all. I mean, he's had 610 runs scored, 521 ribbies, 184 home runs, and has a career average at 279. Harper's probably the biggest name this offseason, and Manny Machado might be 1B. But we talk about a lot where the heck this guy's going to play, and I want to know from you. So according to Bet the Asai, the highest odds for him are to end up going to the Phillies. But this show's about the Yankees. So where will Bryce Harper play in 2019? I want you to type P for Phillies, type Y for the Yankees, or type S for somewhere else. If you want to know what I think, DM me on Twitter at MitchellRens365. If you want to bet on where he's going to play, there's only one place to do it. That's at BetDSI. Go to chatsports.com slash bet and use our promo code LIVE120 for that 120% deposit bonus. You put down $50, you'll get 60 for free. Put down $100, you'll get 120 for free. Put down $500, get $600 for free. Shout out to Bet DSI if we're going to sell with the best promo code on the internet. My next rumor here is around the New York Yankees and their chances of winning the World Series. And luckily, Bet DSI has got odds in this. So the Yankees right now are going to be searching for their 28th World Series title. Their last title was in 2009, and their last one before that was in 1996. I don't know if you guys know this, but the Red Sox won the World Series last year, and I can imagine that just fuels your fire. So in 2018, the Yankees were 162, just so everybody has that number clear, and they're going to be searching for another World Series title. And luckily, Bet DSI was nice enough to give us odds on every single Major League Baseball team and their odds to win the World Series. As you can see on board here, all these teams have plus 25,000 odds to win the World Series. So if you want to win some money, maybe betting on one of these teams. But the Kansas City Royals, shout out to Brett, wouldn't do it. Next here on the list are some more teams. You got the Diamondbacks at plus 25,000 odds, and then the Rangers, Blue Jays, San Diego Twins. As long as Drake's rep in Toronto, wouldn't bet on them. Cincinnati Reds there at plus 10,000, the Giants, Pirates. Angels, it's kind of frustrating seeing them at plus 6,000 odds because they have the best player in baseball, Mike Trout. Chicago White Sox, I don't think that they're going to win it, but if they end up getting Manny Machado, that's actually not a bad deal right now at plus 6,000 odds. And then I'm going to go over here to the, some teams now that are starting to get a little bit more likely. At plus 3,500 odds, the Colorado Rockies, 3,000 for the A's. The Rays, the Mets, the Mets season though, just for some reason starts out really good in April and then come May, it's just about over. The Milwaukee Brewers then at plus 1,800 or plus 1,800 odds. And then the Washington Nationals. I, it always puzzles me that the Nationals have, I would regard as maybe the best starting rotation in Major League Baseball, yet have not been able to do much with it. The Philadelphia Phillies are an interesting team because they are still favorited to either sign Harper or Machado, so that's an interesting 1,500 there. The Atlanta Braves, a great young team. The Cardinals have, are always scrappy. The Cleveland Indians there are, again, a sneaky, sneaky team at plus 1,200 odds. But here are the favorites. Here are the top five teams to win the World Series, according to Bet DSI. You got the Chicago Cubs there at plus 1,100. Then you got the LA Dodgers at plus 650. And then there's the good old New York Yankees at plus 600. The Houston Astros at plus 600. The Boston Red Sox are the Bet DSI favorites to win the World Series again. But like I said before, I put my money on the New York Yankees at plus 600. And in fact, I put $25 on it because uh, shout out to Bet DSI for hooking me up with my Christmas bonus. So I gave you all the odds on every single MLB team and what their chances are to win the World Series. So now I want to know from you, who's going to win the World Series in 2019? I want you to comment below if you're watching this on Facebook, if you're watching this on YouTube, literally anywhere that you see this video. Who's going to win the World Series in 2019? I'm going to be back with more Yankees rumors next week. So until then, subscribe to YouTube.com slash ChatSportsTV. And make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at MitchellRens365, the latest Yankees news and rumors. I'll see you.